Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a bathroom tour. Why? Um, my bathroom is really important to me. I spend a lot of time in there taking baths and going to the bathroom. And a lot of the tours that you'll see on YouTube are of prettier rooms. So let's get down and dirty and I'll explain the reasoning why my bathroom looks the way it does, why I set it up that way. This is my bathroom, kind of small. My bathroom's a little narrow, so it's hard to get you a full shot of the whole thing. But as you can see here, I'll start with the shower and bath. It has a wraparound curtain, so I need an extra long curtain. And I use a shower curtain that has um, moisture wicking because when you get a cloth um, shower curtain, it tends to grab a lot of that moisture and keep it in the fabric. And this is where you get mildewy problems and just musty, yucky germs. I also read online that um, to make sure that this will air, air out and dry evenly, after you take a shower, pull it all the way open so there's no wrinkles or folds where bacteria can live. So here's my shower caddy. I always use a caddy because, like I said, it's really important to me to not keep um, water sitting in spots in my bathroom. I want to make sure that all the water evaporates so it's nice and clean. Um, here's a soap that my friend Amy sent me and it's shaped like a watermelon, or it looks like a watermelon. And this is good because um, the soap can dry off and not keep the moisture on it and leave those terrible wet little stains that drive me crazy. Um, here's a brush that um, I'm really into some of the Ayurvedic um, medicine and dry brushing helps improve your circulation um, which helps with my back pain so before I shower or when I start showering I'll rub this along my back and it helps me um, helps the muscles calm down. Here's a sponge, I just got this. I wanna see if I can use it to exfoliate my skin, my body skin more, cause I'm really lazy about that. It gets really dry. And then here's a shower brush um, to detangle my hair gently. I'm trying not to break it all off, um, cause I'm a lazy hair brusher. I don't take a lot of time on it. Here's the art that I have in my bathroom. Um, this is a picture that I took at the shrine in Gotokuji, where my friends live right now in Japan. And they had this cute little description um, handed out there about what Maneki Neko is all about. And that's the little waving cat, little cat with his paw up. If you're interested in hearing about that, I can tell you guys about it sometime. It's really cool. And then we have plant more seeds and read more books, both of which are things that I want to do in life. We have this uh, wall, wall cloth that I got in Japan, um, from the dollar store actually. This is the rabbit in the moon, which is really cute. Um, I have the same one here over the top of the toilet. And this is a little greenhouse. I used to have my succulents in it, but I thought it would be a better display for some of my old um, bath products I've collected. So we have the Sears and Robot calendar, I just put it in plastic to make sure the moisture stays out because it is from 1900 and I care about it. Um, so the Sears and Roebuck um, catalogs were mailed out to people and the old trend was to actually keep it in your outhouse and read it while you're going to the bathroom and browse all the products they have because each product has a really nice Victorian style illustration and a very lengthy product description. So it's kind of like reading a magazine. And then over here we also have um, an old school box for a vibrator um, back when they were targeted um, to women and um, for supposedly for stimulation of your whole body but it actually was just a um, sexual vibrator. And we have an old case, old Trojan tin, which is really interesting. 
So here's my window, the most important and favorite part of my bathroom. I just have a sheer curtain so that natural light can get in but no one can see you. Um, and if we push it aside, we see, like I said, there's a view of the outside so you don't want anyone staring at you from the road. And on my windowsill, I have two succulents. They do really well in here with the natural moisture and lots of sunlight. And I usually don't have to water them too much. And if I do, the sink is right there. And I have another Maniki Neko. Very cute. And this random frog that I got from the Goodwill in State College. I love this thing. Some person randomly painted it. Another thing that I like to do is I keep thermometer in here so that when it's in the morning and I'm getting ready, I'm still in my pajamas, I can see what the temperature is and then I can dress accordingly. And I keep it in here with the window closed to make sure that it's taking the actual temper of the temperature of the outside and not just my bathroom. And I have two because sometimes they're a little unreliable. Real nice thermometers are very expensive. Here's my wall clock. I always have a clock in my bathroom because I tend to run late. I have a painting my mom did of my old rat Louie, an ornament that I made, um, which I'll make a tutorial for you guys about. Really easy to make. Um, a little paw print ornament, and that's Louie's uh, front, front paw. So this is the mirror above my sink, and there's me. This is a little trippy looking. There's three doors. Yes, very weird. Um, so I do have quite a bit of storage. I try to keep as much things off of the uh, sink counter as I can because like I said, I'm really clumsy and I knock them all off and it drives me crazy. So what I actually have on my sink is I have this cool picture that I got from someone who was um, train hopping. So it's like a little hobo there. Um, got my toothbrushes. I keep them in a um, coconut milk can actually. Um, toothpaste. I like this kind because um, you can peel this plastic off and then it's easily recyclable. Recyclable. Some of the tube ones you can't recycle. So if you have to use plastic, that's kind of a lesser evil. And then like I said, I have Ayurvedic soap. This smells so good and like clears out your sinuses. It's just awesome spicy smell. Um, so I have that sitting, waiting for me for when the watermelon soap is all done. And I hope I'm pronouncing Ayurvedic correctly, because I have another product from Ayurvedic Medicine recommended is a tongue scraper, and I keep it just jammed in there. Um, tongue scraper, which you just graze over the surface of your tongue, and it removes bacteria, so it's good if you have dry mouth or bad breath. I love that thing, so I try to do that. Here's my little strawberry floss inside, little flossers. Got my soap and my little frog collection. So like you saw, I have that painted stone frog and I just saw I had these in my little toy box. So figured I'd put them in the bathroom because it makes sense. And this one's actually a kappa. This one's from a kinder egg and it looks like he might be a kappa, but whatever, he's green. And another really, really important thing to me is a fan. I always want to have that ventilation in a room where there's tons of warm steam. Well, obviously all steam is warm, but you get you catch my drift. So I put it right by the window. I'll keep the window open, turn the fan on, and keep the bathroom door open. And then all of the hot air can escape and not linger on the surfaces. Okay. So now let me tell you about a few of my favorite products that I keep in my bathroom. And I feel like my camera is not light balanced, but I'm too lazy to deal with that, so let's get started. Okay, so you guys can tease me all you want for this one. I gladly accept the teasing for this one, because this is really weird and nerdy and dorky. Um, I bought this thing called the Squatty Potty and it goes right under your feet on the toilet so that you're in a natural squatting position, which is how people used to poop when they didn't have upright toilets. And some countries still use this type of toilet. 
or if you're going to the bathroom outside, this is obviously what you're going to do. And basically the idea is that when you sit this way, it unkinks your colon so you can go to the bathroom better. Um, it also helps just with my back pain. I don't know, I just like it. I think it works well. And I think that um, your digestive health is really important. So I do use this. Um, if, if you're interested in it, check it out. Um, the commercials they make are really weird. It's about like unicorn poop. Um, very interesting target demographic they have there. But I read about mine in one of um, my health magazines. Okay, so this is another bath product that I got that I love. Um, I got this one in Japan. Um, very cheap. It's just for um, when you're bathing in the bathtub. Um, you can scoop up the water and rinse yourself with it. So it's just like a ladle for your body. Um, the baths in Japan are very different. Um, they're not laid out like lying style, like um, a rectangle. They're kind of more um, deep and more cubicle shape, kind of. Um, so this helps you rinse yourself off and I don't know, I just really enjoy it. It's an easy way to rinse your hair if you like to wash your hair in the bathtub instead of in the shower. And you don't want, um, you want to make sure you're rinsing your hair with the clean water straight from the tap, not from the gunky water you've been sitting in or the water that has product in it, like if you use bath bombs or whatever, or bath salts, because that will, that's a no-no for your hair. So, moving on to cleaning supplies, this is just white vinegar and water in a spray bottle. And this is a new spray bottle, but obviously you can recycle any spray bottle you have and just put some vinegar and water in it. And this is fantastic for cutting grease. Vinegar will naturally cut grease. Um, and for whatever reason, it works fantastic on glass and it can take away the smudgy little fingerprints or toothpaste marks on the mirror. So I just use this as a nice natural cleaner for my bathroom mirror and it works fantastically. And it's so cheap, it's so, so cheap to get some vinegar. Just dilute it with a little water. If you don't like the smell, um, just add something else. I don't know, I guess like a essential oil, but I don't mind the smell. It goes away pretty quickly. So that's it, that's my bathroom tour. Um, I'm surprised I had so much to talk about. Um, I hope you thought it was interesting, maybe give you some ideas for your own bathroom. Um, let me know what you think in the comments or just give me a like if you like hearing me talk about random shit.